Well, today we're going to look at some uh, Weetabix goodies. So, way back before uh, all the bands on promoting breakfast cereals and sweet things to kids, Weetabix and, and a lot of other cereal manufacturers, shredders, etc. They all did free gifts, trying to get you to buy the particular box of over-sugared breakfast comestible. Um, Weetabix did some wonderful sets of its Doctor Who stand-up figures, Asterix, Disney stuff, uh, some Star Trek bits and bobs. One of the things I remember very, very fondly from my youth many, many years ago was when the Flash Gordon movie came out and they did a series of collectible cards and also you could send off for a booklet to put the cards in. Um, now normally as kids we weren't really allowed to send off for things. If it involved sending a postal order or postal stamp, things like that, no, if you collect the cards we can't think. But for some reason, um, this isn't my childhood one. Uh, but I did have it. For some reason, uh, my parents allowed me to send off my little postal order and got my book back and I stuck it in. I loved this book. It was great. I mean, I loved the Flash Gordon film. Um, I think it's aged incredibly well. It went through a period where it was seen as sort of kitsch and juvenile and silly, and that's sort of the whole point of it. Um, it's just high camp as an art form. It's a great film. It's got a banging soundtrack. But... Uh, so kids stay these days, banging, banging tunes. Or is that just everyone can uh, So you got these uh, cards, and I think it was a 18 in the set. And then you got a booklet. So what we'll do is, should we go through the booklet? Because this, this booklet isn't complete, but it has got some of the cards in. Then we'll look at the cards where we're missing them. Uh, this one's not in the best conditions, but you really just don't see them anymore. Look at that artwork, isn't that great? Um, it's not in the best edition. Oops. There we go. Okay, so you get the a pretty good rundown of the story, and the this is the legend of the previous versions of Flash Gordon, um, which as kids we were very familiar with the uh, Larry Buster Crab serials. They were on, they were sort of they strip run them over the summer holidays. It was just great. Um, and then this is the story of the production of the film. And then we get a little rundown of the cast of characters. So it says you can keep an eye on them. You know who they are when you watch the film. And then you get the movie itself and it's told in the form of very, very nice colour. Photos, dialogue, um, and then the cards themselves. Um, and you can see someone stuck these in pretty good. Pretty well. And then it goes through the whole story of the film with lots of memorable scenes. That is a great sequence, the football match. Goal, flash, goal. Um, and then you see, unfortunately, it looks like they were stuck in, but it's Liz lost some. So I think 10 is that one. And then I think we're missing, I'm trying to get hold of some more, I don't want to stick my good set in there, but I would like a complete one. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we're back to them being stuck in. So uh, 11, 12, no, hang on. Big it so 11, 12, 13, that card freaked me out as a kid. It's like, what's going on? Couldn't wait to see the film, because these... These were before the film came out. It's primed you. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we're back to the at 16 to General Carla. He goes right through to the final battle. Ming dies, and then there's the credits. Um, like I say, not in the best condition. It's very, very loose on the staples, but I'm so glad to have got this. I want to complete it, so I'm keeping an eye on eBay. Uh, the back of the cards. Uh, reproduced the uh, the text is reproduced in the book but the back of the card photos I don't think are so if you wanted to see these photos you would have to get two sets of cards and eat lots more Weetabix which wasn't a chore how did you eat your Weetabix? I used to have mine warm, warm milk, a bit of sugar and then make it into like a kind of porridge oh so good 
I know some people that used to eat them with uh, butter and salt on, like a bit of bread. Very strange. But uh, however you at them, I hope you enjoyed collecting them. <coughs> Pardon me. Just the, the thought of uh, Weetabix has dried my throat out. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more breakfast cereal premiums, I've got quite a few. I'm just going through my letter set free gifts. So if you want to see them, let me know. Uh, and I'll do some uh, little videos on them. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we have a Patreon page now, which I'll put a link in the description if you want to help us out that way. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.